What's going on guys? My name is Potential, and I'm going to show you how I cleaned my PS4 controller. Run it. Alright, let's get started. The thing is, I already cleaned one of my controllers. I did it about three weeks ago, and so far it seems to be working well. So I figured I'll do the other one and I'll show you guys how I did it. The problem I was having is uh, my L2 and L1 buttons were stuck, meaning they kept randomly inputting while I was playing games. For example, I was playing Dragon Ball Fighters, and the game was almost unplayable to me because playing against people and then my assist characters just keep flying in in and out in and out looking stupid like I didn't know what I was doing so you see I uh, took out the four screws here using a regular Phillips so before I open up the controller let me show you guys the materials that we're using so like I said I got a small Phillips I got a tiny flathead but I don't think we'll really need it but just in case Small pliers, rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, microfiber cloth, and baby wipes. What? Shh, nobody needs to know. All right, let's get this guy open. Yeah, like I was saying, the uh, L2 and L1 button was uh, like randomly doing inputs for me when I was playing games. You know, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption and like, Arthur just keeps aiming for no reason. Drawing his gun. All right, so you see, I just kind of pop the handles out. Now look at this side. Uh, there's these two strips here that are in between the buttons. When you're lifting this up and pulling the bottom out, you kind of want to make sure that you uh, slip this over the, the trigger buttons. So just take your time, pop it up. Okay, now you see this strip there and it's plugged in. You don't want to tug this too hard and rip it out, so just be careful when you're popping the top piece off. And you could disconnect here. You should be able to do it with your hand. Yeah, see? No problem. Yeah, so cleaning the controller uh, fixed my issue. I just cleaned up the contacts that the buttons were pressing and I cleaned everything pretty much and it was, it's been working great for the past three weeks so but also you do want to clean it because uh, I don't know if you can see but I got all this dirt here along the sides um, and they definitely do get underneath the buttons as well so I mean it's you know oils from your hand, dirt, Cheetos, crumbs, chips ahoy. What? So, the next step, disconnect the battery. You just pull it up. Alright, now that the battery is disconnected, we're gonna take the screw out and just separate the motherboard from the rest of the housing. Yeah, I wish I could capture some footage of uh, the problem, you know, when uh, the buttons were just randomly inputting. It's all good, I think. You're watching this video because you might be having a similar issue, so... Can you see? It's separating from that piece. Now, this is important. There's another connector here that's coming from the bottom. Through a little slit in the plastic and plugging into the motherboard. This, you want to disconnect before you pull all this off. Uh, with my last controller, I was able to pull it out with my hand. Oh, I was able to do this one also. This is why I wanted to use the pliers, but uh, I was able to get it out with my fingers, so no worries there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but you gotta feed it through the plastic. 
All right, all good. This piece is disconnected, so the motherboard itself actually comes up. Uh, you could probably just leave this. Yeah, we could leave this on the frame for now. We just pull the whole frame off. Now you see you don't want this uh, the orange strip to get uh, you know stuck there. So just feed it through the plastic and then lift this up. So I'm telling you guys, I'm no expert or specialist on this, but uh, based on the Google search results that I found, uh, they said you could use rubbing alcohol and the higher the percentage, the better for the cleaning. Uh, I got 70%. I guess you could use it because it's non-conductive. Again, I ain't no expert, but I did it and my controller works. So yeah, just grab your Q-tips, grab your alcohol, Soak the tips. And just clean it up. Imagine we put this whole thing back together and then it doesn't work. <laughs> oh well. I'm trying to get a PS5 this year anyway. You know when that God of War come out, Ragnarok, it's over. Yeah, run it in the comments. What games are you guys excited for for PS5? Important tip of the day, do not spill this bottle on your electronics. I mean, I think the alcohol itself is fine, but who's trying to clean up that mess? Good. Those are Gucci. Honestly, let's just go ahead and put these things back in this piece. We'll put it aside so we don't have to worry about it. The D-pad just goes in anyway. Then your buttons. And these only go in one way, I think. Yeah. See the buttons have a thicker piece that fits into the thicker slot of the housing so you can't really screw this up or can you i guess you could screw it up if you put the wrong button in the wrong slot Alright, so obviously, 
Uh, you want to be careful how you're holding this. You don't want to be touching all the contacts on the motherboard. The first thing I would do, I would take the analog sticks off. With my other controller, I actually didn't go too deep into this, but um, I just popped them off and then I'll, I'll clean around the edges. But um, I think if you have that drift issue, you do have to pop these uh, these sides off and then clean those contacts. I'm not going to do that right now, but because, um, uh, you know, my problem is with the L2 and R2, but I'll still get these cleaned. All this, I'm going to run the alcohol on with the Q-tip. These contacts here, I'm just going to give it a little wipe down. Uh, nothing too crazy, but just, I'm just going to catch the main contacts. Alright, this is really important. I'm going to pop the two triggers off and the R1 and L1 off, but when I pop the triggers off, there's a spring sitting in this slit in the plastic here, which causes resistance for the triggers. As soon as you pop that off, uh, that spring might fall off, so don't lose that. Um, it might stay on the trigger because it goes through the hoop, but you know, just be careful taking this off and you know the spring has to go back in these two slits. Pop the buttons off. Oh, if you can see the spring there, hang it off. If you look at this piece, it has like a little ridge here. And it pretty much almost clamps over the plastic on this piece. It could feel kind of loose when you're putting it on, so just uh, make sure it's nice and snug. You know, this this part hooks over the top, and this is pushed all the way down. See again, just check these uh, R1 and L1 buttons and make sure to push it all the way down because they could slide up sometimes. All right, so this is a slightly tricky part when you're putting the triggers on. Uh, remember we talked about the spring. There's a slit here in the plastic that needs to slide in. Uh, it's only on, well, let's say it's on this, uh, for this button, it's only on one side. You know, so it's right here, there's a slit, there isn't any slit on this side. So it's got a slide right in here. And if you see here, there's a slit here, but not on this side. So if I know I'm putting the trigger on this way, I'm going to go ahead and slide the spring on like this. So I'm going to tilt it like this, slide it on and then push it up. It doesn't snap in or nothing, I just know that it's resting in that area. So when I put it on, it's just gonna drop right in the slit. Let's go again, slide it in. I know it's gonna go on this side. Push it up, but once I get it on there I'm gonna drop it down into that little cutout let's get it in place let the spring drop the springs dropped in there and then just snap it on right. that's the resistance you want to make sure you got that all right that's it 
Let's put it back together. Hopefully it works. Okay, if you remember, there was this orange, brown, whatever, this strip. It needs to slide through the plastic and then uh, connect into the motherboard. In this case, I'll use the little flathead just to feed it through. Battery in. And then the back cover. I remember we get this piece here, so this just has to plug into this connector here. And we're good. Alright, so now the controller's all put back together. The last step is we're gonna take my daughter's baby wipes. We're gonna just give it a nice little polish. I mean, it does kind of sanitize the controller as well. Again, nobody needs to know about this. Just between us. Hey, big shout out to the gamer parents out there holding it down with the kids and still making time to do what you love to do. Mad props to you guys. All right, looks good. And now I'm gonna take my microfiber cloth. Just gonna dry it. Guys, that's it. Everything is back in order. Last order of business. Make sure it works. Look, while wiping it, I pushed the PS button. I heard the PlayStation turned on, so. So far, so good. I mean, like I said, my previous controller is the one that had the real problem. This one wasn't really giving me no trouble, but uh, I do want to make sure that I didn't screw it up while taking everything apart. So I'm just going to fire up something and make sure all the buttons work. All right, so check this out, guys. All the buttons are working the way they should. All right, my sister coming in. But check this out, light bar's not on. So I'm gonna go back in and um, I'm gonna check that, uh, I think it's the blue, the blue strip or the orange one, I'm gonna check both. Just make sure they're both secure and uh, because it's one of the two that's preventing this from lighting up. Yeah guys, we're back in here. Um, of course I would screw this up. So I basically didn't put the blue strip in correctly. It was definitely on backwards. So I'm just gonna fix that and should be good to go after that. There. That's better. Here we are again, moment of truth. Bingo. All right guys, it's all good. We're back in business. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. My name is Contential. We'll link up in the next one.